proceed with next next topic is about thermal stresses okay so it is known that uh, if there is change in temperature the body is experiencing either expansion or contraction no? ang imo ang imong material uh, if there is a change in temperature sample mo kung mo taas ang temperature possibly mo expand ang imong material kung mo ubos ang temperature possibly mo contract or mo shrink ang imong material no now how do we account the amount of deformation um based on experiments the amount of deformation is equivalent to alpha l delta t where the alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion the l is the uh, original length and delta t is the change in temperature now the unit of alpha coefficient of linear expansion is meter per meter per degree celsius in si or inch per inch per degrees fahrenheit Take note, nga kaning del, uh, kani, del T deformation, ang unit ani niya is unit of length, meter or inches. Okay? Okay, so how do we, uh, how do we solve these types of problems? First is imagine the structure is relieved of all the applied loads and constraints so that the deform temperature deformations can occur freely. freely. And then represent these deformations on a sketch and exaggerate their effect. Okay, so first is uh, imong i draw ang setup. Kung na ay mga constraints, tanggalon sa nanimo, either ang isa ka side, para i allow ni mong uh, sample, mo elongate ang bar or mo shrink ang bar. No, i drawing na nimo. And then imagine sufficient loads applied to the structure. To restore it to the specified conditions or restraint. And then the second step is simple. Kung mo expand ang bar ni mo, pila man ang amount of force nga needed para makonstrain siya sa original length. Tumaw na siya. And then third one, the geometric relations between the temperature and load deformations on the sketch give equations that together with the equations of static equilibrium may solve the unknown quantities okay so in order to illustrate these steps let's have this example you have a steel rod 2.5 meters long okay kani is secured between two walls if the load on the rod is zero at 20 degrees celsius okay so again at 20 uh, degrees celsius wala yung load nga experience ang imo ang rad. Compute the stress when the temperature drops to negative 20 degrees Celsius. The cross-sectional area of the rad is 1,200 millimeter square. Alpha is 11.7 micrometer per meter degrees Celsius and uh, elasticity of 200 gigapascal. Uh, the first scenario is the walls are rigid, meaning rigid, meaning diligid mulihok ang wall, steady kayo. So uh, in effect ang imong rod pod ma constrain siya no instead nga instead nga mo shrink man ta ni mo contract man ta ning mo ang imong rod kay mi ubos ang temperature but rigid kay mong wall fix siya dito isa kalihok no so na stress karon nga ma develop and that is what we call the thermal stress and second, the walls spring together a total distance of 0.5 mm as temperature drops. So the second scenario, ang imo ang wall daw is allowed to move, no? Mulihok ti ay ang imong wall so dili siya fix sa second scenario. Nya mi move siya 0.5 and then ah uh, pila man ang stress ani. So uh, using this problem, makita na to, no, nga in designing structure, kung rigid ka yung imong, imong structure diha, makita na to, nga dako ang stress na develop sa yung material. Whereas kung i-allow ni mo ni siya nga mumo, so na yung mga structure, no, nga ilang gi allow po for thermal stress, no, nga ma-eliminate siya, so i-allow ni mo 
mo ng imong wall is moving or structure is moving. So na yung mga ninana. Okay. First is imagine the rod is disconnected from the right wall. So this is the first step. And then kung wala ang kung wala ang wall di mo shank na mo gamay na karon ang imo ang ang imo ang rad so mo ni siya oh ang original gid ani nakadikit ning imong bar sa imong rad sa wall but since uh, sa first step imo man ning i-allow nga mo contract so mo na ni karon ang deformation so mi mubo ang imong rad amount of delta t so, the second step is reattach the rad to the wall Okay, so karon kung nana ang imo ang bar arad dere, pila man ang amount of force nga kinangulan nimo para mubalik sa dere. So naa kay binato na po na nimo arad ano. So naa kay tensile force dere ni apply. And then ang kanang tensile force uh, mo ilonggit ang imo arad in amount of del, del P, no? So karon ang imo ang kaning Thermal stress is just equal at kaning del T o del P, no? It's just equal, no? So, kung equal na siya, siyempre, dapat equal kaya para mo balik dari sa wall. Kaya kung pasobraan ni mo, di, uh, wala na, mo pa na na siya. Mo, ano na na additional na stress. So, Enough lang na mabalik siya sa original condition. So from the deformation, sketch of deformations, we see that del, the thermal deformation and the kani, actual na deformation is equivalent. So ang equation na is alpha delta TL is equal to PL over AE. Okay, so therefore, but kaning P over AE ni ma-stress man So this equal to sigma L over E. Cancel ni karong L. Kani, cancel ni L. Mabilin. Stress is just E. A. Delta T. Morag it, oh. E. Alpha. Delta T. Okay. So, given man eh. 200 gigapascal times alpha ng 11.7 micrometer. So, may times 10 to the negative 6. Over. Ano no? Not over. Times. 40, ano 40 man, kaya ang final temperature ni mo is negative 20 niya, yeah, 20 po so negative 20 minus 20 is negative 40 uh, take only the positive no? okay, change rin man yung mikuha na. what is the magnitude so times 40 ah uh, Muna siya ang stress na develop sa materials, 93.6 times 10 to the 6 or 93.6 megapascal. Okay, so muna siya. For the second scenario, the walls spring together. So, milihok ang walls of 0.5. So, ang sa'yo bato ni Mana? Ang imo ang del T, equal na ni siya karun sa ah uh, Diba? Kaya may move naman ang imo ang wall dere. Kani, bago nga position. So, kani na lang amount ang imo ang i-dugang. Kani nga amount. Kani, del P. Kaya may move naman dere ang imo ang wall. So, therefore, ang imo ang thermal deformation is just equal to del actual deformation plus yield. Kani, yield nga 0.5 mm. Again, imo running ang kani is just equal to alpha L delta T is equal to stress L over E plus 0 0.5 times 10 to the negative 3. And then, makuha ni mo ang stress ani is 53.6 NPA. So, makita ni mo nga mas gamay. Ano mas gamay man? Siyempre kay gamay na lang man ang ang force nga imong gi di bira no kay mi milihok naman ang imo ang structure tumawon so, na siya na relieve gamay ang imo ang material sabot ana
gamay na lang ang iyong experience ng thermal stress. So that's it. Okay, so in the next lecture, we'll be studying about statically indeterminate uh, shelly loaded numbers. Okay, so what are what am I talking about? Okay, so say for example, you have this bar and then it is fixed at both ends, A and B. Okay? So, naakay uh, bar ka ron, and then, di mo na siyang be fixed at both ends, A and B. Okay, so, what happens is that the pre-body diagram ano niya, looks something like this. You have force in A and force in B, both ends. And you have the P, okay, which is the weight, ani, weight aning bar. Okay. So, the question is, how do we get any mga forces? Do we have unknown? Okay, so what we do in statics is we get the summation of forces along the vertical and equate that to zero. So you have FB plus FA minus P is equal to zero. And then you have one equation but two unknowns. So how do we get FB or FA? No, so wala na lang equation. So that is what you call statically indeterminate members, no? Uh, we cannot actually get the forces using statics alone. So we need to find uh, or we need to know how this uh, bar is uh, elongated or saang stresses nga na experience niya. No? So we need to find another equation and we can get that by uh, using the principles nga na learn ato so far. Okay, so there are daghan mga kaya niya o possibly nga mga forms, no? Yung nato na madiscuss tanan. Yung sa mga format niya. Okay, so ang atong buha to na lang is uh, we'll have an example. Okay, so how do we okay, before we go on to the example, how do we solve this problem? First is draw a free body diagram and apply the equations of static field broom. Okay, so that's one. You have one equation. If there are more unknowns than independent equations of equilibrium, obtain additional equations from geometric relations between the elastic deformations produced by the loads. Okay, so we can or we need to look at the elastic deformation. Using that one, we now have another equation that will be pwede magamit, no? Okay, so say for example, we have this problem. The shirt concrete post in the figure is reinforced actually with six symmetrically placed steel bars, each 600 millimeter squared in area. If the applied load is 1000 kilonewton, compute the stress developed in each material. So we need to compute the stress in the concrete and also in the uh, steel bars. Use the following moduli of elasticity for steel, 200 gigapascal for concrete, 14 gigapascal. Okay. Okay, so this is the problem. We have this uh, post, concrete post, and then uh, naani siya yung mga steel bar sa sulod, no? Six kabuok. Okay? And then you apply 1000 kilonewton na load. Okay, so unsa ang free body diagram anin niya? Pre-body diagram, ano niya, 
look something like this okay and then okay so you have 1000 kilonewton load okay so ang mga weight ani is wala naman gi consider okay for this problem kamera siguro sa compare sa mga load okay and then kung sa buhaton sa mong concrete ani yan ang try to resist no using sa mo ang concrete o sa mo ang sa mo ang bar so you have force developed sa steel and sa concrete okay so nga naman siya na, na fall man siya sa statically indeterminate because if you apply the summation of forces along the vertical sa metabon you have PST plus PCO minus 1,001 1 times 10 to the 6 na lang ni kilonewton man eh okay so you have two unknowns in one equation and then wala naman tayo lang yung equation makuha na using statics to dispose in dirty statically indeterminate okay so once I'm uh, another Again, sa tong step 2, look for the elastic deformation. So, kung uh, saan ang deformation na ni Karon, siyempre, kung mag-cut out plane dari, action plane dari, magkita na ito na uh, slab, slab man ino, you have the bearing plate. Ano eh? This is the bearing plate. The bearing plate. So, Again, assume na po din siya nga uniform ning 1,000 di, di sa area ni mo. So, ang imong ang imong concrete og ang imong concrete og steel bar sa metabuan eh. Wala ni Arizona. na. Bali na din. Okay, yung hatabuan ni Karun, mo deform ni siya, mo naog ni Dere. Mo naog ni Dere Karun. Okay. So, mo deform ang ato ang uh, concrete of steel ni mo. Siyempre, uniform man ano. So, ang imo ang deformation sa concrete o sa steel muna ako na sila o sa pipe okay so this is the second equation na imo ang kinahamulan in order to solve this problem again this is the deformation no so ito nang i-relate ka ron sa imo ang sa imo ang force so ang sama na siya again deformation is thus sa galang strain Deformation over length. Okay, how many like total length? No? Well, like given that this is just uh, this is just strain in the concrete. Okay? Strain in the concrete is just equal to times L no? tama ba? E is okay Ra. this is just equal to strain in the stress times stress still times okay and then ato pa nang relate sa stress uh, Nahimo na ni siyang stress in the concrete over E sa concrete is equal to stress in the steel over E sa 
still. Okay? Therefore, makuha na ito nga ang stress sa steel is E over steel E over concrete times stress sa concrete. Okay? And then, given mo na yung sa problem, this is 200 gigapascal and 14 gigapascal. Cancel na ni. So, stress in the concrete is 14.5 3 stress in the concrete and stress of steel is just 14.3 times stress of concrete okay and then i relate pa din nato ni sa dere para mahimoning uh mahimoning force so this is just okay ito na ning kuno ito na ning solbon uh, P of steel plus P of concrete is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6. Again, there no careful that there is a unit. Usually, there is a unit. No? Force. The past stress is force over area sa steel. So, can eh? May mali ni siyang stress sa steel, area sa steel, plus stress sa concrete, area sa concrete. Okay? Okay, para man na, ma-relate na ito. Okay. Kung ano yung reason? Stress, concrete, 14.3, stress. Okay. And then stress in the steel. Given ba? Hmm. Wala. But naata area. Stress sa steel. Ang area ni mo kay 6 manika bars. So ang total area sa imong steel is 6 times Ngayon man nga, ang cross-sectional area is 600 mm squared. 600 mm squared. Convert na to na to meter. May mo ng 600 times 10 to the negative 6 m squared. Okay, verify na lang na ninyo. Pero muna siya. Tama ba? Negative 6. Negative. Negative 4. Negative 4 kay. Ano mo na? 1 mm squared. Multiply na mo na 1,000 mm. 1 m. May tabuan ni. Eh. Ah! No. Hindi. Negative 4. Negative 6. Negative 6. Oh. Okay. Oh. So, mahimo din yung 6 times 600 times 10 to the negative 6. Plus, again, tanaw na to ni stress CO plus area concrete. Kung saan ang area sa concrete? There is a problem, 300 mm daw ni, kan eh 300 mm okay, kung naka kayo unom dyan eh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so, ang area sa concrete na mo karon is 300 okay, square man eh, 300 square minus minus an eh, so ang kanira minus an eh mo sa May nusan ni mo karoon sa area sa steel. So, okay lang area sa steel. Kan eh. 6 times 600 times 10 to the negative 6. Unit, ano ito man? Ang unit, ano ito is AA. 
ang unit ani mm point three na lang din eh para parehong parehong meter point three squared na point three squared times six times six hundred to the negative six na himo ni yun ba point three squared Ah, by the way, ito na lang yung parang 6 times 600 dito na negative 6 Nahimu din yung 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3 m squared Okay, nahimu din yung 3.6 times 10 to the negative 3 Unit na ni m squared ka ni Point three squared minus six times six hundred e point zero eight six four. Any point zero eight six four. Unit is m squared. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, <clears throat> is equal to 1 times 10 to the 6. Again, unit ani is Newton. Okay. So, makuha na to ni Karun, equation is ane. Ane ito nakuha ng equation. 3.6 times 10 the negative 3 this is still plus 0 0.0864 stress concrete 1 times 10 the 6 tama okay one equation another equation you plug in ang value sa stress sa steel dere may morning makuha ni mo nga Three sa concrete is eh, 14.3 times 3.6 e negative 3 plus 0 0.0864 1 e to the 6 divided answer is equal to 7.5 25 tama mega pascal and then can eh, multiply mo na 14.3 po ano mga stress sa steel is 103.7 even yung 104 anyway okay so that's it uh, apply the uh, equations of statics, equation of equilibrium, and then look for the elastic deformation of geometrical say plaster niya sa iya ang elongation. Okay, so there are many problems. Just practice solving na sa book.